Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Bluefin Design and I'm Nick Hill. And in this video, we are going to be talking about focus groups. So as you all know, we are in the middle of uh, a UX case study and the topic for my case study is language translation. And we've already done a couple of videos on the user research process and different methods for example competitive analysis user interviews so if you need to check those out uh, the link is in the description um, i'm sure they will be helpful for you so in this video we are going to be talking about focus groups what are focus groups why to do focus groups when to do focus groups and how to do focus groups and I'll also be talking about some of the limitations to keep in mind when conducting focus groups and also some bonus tips. So stick around till the end and uh, let's get started. So focus group, what is a focus group? It's basically a moderated conversation of four to five people or between five to 10 people or participants where the moderator asks a set of questions to the topic uh, around the topic. And I've actually underlined moderated because you want to keep track and you want to keep the conversation uh, confined and directional as to uh, your topic. You can learn about the attitudes, beliefs, desires, and reactions of the participants to your concepts or designs using focus groups. And these focus group sessions usually last between like one to two hours, depending on the number of people and your topic as well. Uh, they can be used to inform the vision and the strategic decision, not the design decisions. Um, why we should be doing focus groups? To be honest, focus groups can be more effective in gathering some spontaneous reactions or ideas as compared to one-on-one -on -one interactions. So when you have a group interaction, uh, that may bring out ideas that were previously taken for granted. And gathering a group of peers, they can make it feel comf it can make them feel comfortable and willing to talk about some sensitive topics. However, uh, there is a risk that the participants might influence others from sharing their honest opinions. So just keep that in mind. Uh, when we should be doing focus groups, uh, they are actually meant to uncover perceptions and not behaviors. Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, using focus groups, uh, the users will tell you what they do uh, apart, like rather than show you what they do. Uh, there's a huge difference. You can do focus groups to identify or clarify your research questions during the earlier stages of the project. So if you want to verify any answers or you want to clarify certain misunderstandings, you can uh, focus groups is a good thing to do. You can also do that to learn about the user's opinions, attitudes and preferences after they have used your prototype. So you can do use uh, take advantage of focus groups on multiple points within your project lifecycle. Uh, let's talk about how to do focus groups. Uh, but before doing that, I think the most important thing to keep in mind is to set clear goals uh, for you as the project team member. So before planning a focus group, I think it's important to determine what you need out of the focus group. So you may want to ask certain questions to all the participants as a group. So uh, determining your questions in advance is a very good strategy. A good question is uh, one, it's specific, two, it's practical, and three, it's actionable. So I think uh, forming questions around these three things uh, may be really helpful in uncovering responses from the participants. It's also important to determine where and how the group is going to meet. Uh, nowadays, if you're meeting with your participants online, uh, you I think it's important to choose a platform that all the participants are comfortable with. So if you find out uh, some of the part participants are not well versed or not comfortable using one platform, you may want to train them in that platform if they are willing to, or you may want to choose a platform that everybody is comfortable with. Uh, there's a lot of choice around uh, platforms for conducting online sessions. If you're meeting in person, I think location plays a much larger role in making participants comfortable. 
So you may want to visit the location yourself before the session to check the logistics, like the environment, the lighting, um, the voice, uh, is it echoing? Is it uh, numbing down uh, your voice? Is the other person audible? Um, also, uh, the interior decor of the location may influence uh, the comfort level of the participants. The most important thing to remember uh, um, is that you need to determine who is going to conduct these sessions or who is going to moderate these sessions. Uh, having somebody uh, with some background knowledge of the subject is important. And the most important thing is that they are able to handle and direct people in keeping the conversation on track. Now let's discuss some of the limitations of focus groups. So as I mentioned earlier, focus groups tell you what people say and not what they do. Uh, and that's the difference. So this may lead to um, a phenomenon called groupthink. In a nutshell, groupthink is basically uh, when a dominant personality uh, is overshadowing the other person's uh, opinions, uh, the, the direction of the conversation may take a certain, certain route um, where all the participants are thinking about in that direction and that may not be fruitful in all cases. Um, this also requires a skilled and an experienced moderator to conduct successful focus groups. And the reasons I just mentioned why we don't need uh, the group to group think and uh, we want to make them feel comfortable um, for the session. So some of the bonus tips when conducting focus groups. Um, recruiting participants is also important for focus groups. So you may want to have target personas determined already before recruiting the person participants for the focus group and uh, that may help in uh, finding out who can best answer your research questions. Also, uh, you need to determine how many of these sessions you will need and depending on those, uh, you may want to divide the group into certain sessions and uh, please provide incentives to the users as they are actually spending uh, valuable time from their lives to help you determine your project needs. So that's a quick video about focus groups. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll try my best to answer them. Or if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me for your next UX project or your next idea or anything related to user experience, uh, you can book a session with me from the link uh, also down in the description. Hang out with me on Instagram. Uh, subscribe to my channel as I'm going to share more videos about UX and research and design on this channel as well. Share this with somebody who is actually working on a UX project and may find this helpful. Thank you so much for watching.